everybody, my name is Sam K, and I am welcome back to Tuesdays with K. I am bringing this series back once again, uh, and today I'm going to be testing out two lavalier mics. Now, um, I will put up what their actual names is because I can't remember them, but they're both by Pro JK, and they are extremely similar. Um, so I'm going to jump right into what the similarities are and. While we are doing this, I am also going to compare them to other similar ones. Now you've heard one, you've heard both these mics before. Um, right now you're listening to them with a little bit of audio processing. So now the audio processing is gone, and you're hearing the uh, one of them. Um, and I'm gonna switch back and forth with them. Uh, now I have used one of these before for the unboxing, but I did not have my settings on my phone set up to the best quality that it could have. Um, I now do have that. But, um, anyway, I am going to be testing out the PS4 mic, uh, the one that comes with it. Uh, it's the little earpiece uh, microphone, uh, just to compare it. And then I'm also comparing the Movo XML mic. Uh, this one's like if you have to go a little bit longer distance, it has a battery in it, but you turn it off for smartphones. So, with all that being said, let's jump right into what the simulators are. Now, the uh, cords length are about the same. This is the clip that they come with. It clips onto the cord. Um, and they come with two of these little uh, kind of ball things, I guess you could say. Let me move back a little bit so you can see it clear. Uh, these little uh, foam wind covers, that's the word for it. Like I said, they come with two of those. Um, now, the differences between them, um, one is TRRS as opposed to TRS. Now, what this means is that they have the number of bands that they have on the very end. Uh, one of them is three bands as a put it's um, uh, tip ring ring and then something I can't remember and then it's uh, tip ring 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 and then something um, but that's the differences also a little bit of the differences let me take this one off real quick um, now I have an aftermarket uh, clip on there but you should be able to see the head of the microphone it's a little bit larger from here up to here um, okay so here's the one that's connected into my computer it's a little bit shorter uh, it's from here to here so they both have aftermarket clips on them so because uh, I bought these and they're a lot better clips um, those wire clips are okay they work out just fine if you don't have anything else but I recommend highly recommend these clips now we are going to compare the audio. So now I'm speaking into the left one, which is going into my cell phone. Now I'm going to shut up and let you hear what kind of noise this generates without any audio processing. Now I'm going to speak into the right one, which is going directly into my computer. Uh, and I am just going to let you guys hear this. Um, and then I'm going to shut up and let you hear the kind of noise this one generates without any audio processing. Okay, so both of these microphones have a omnidirectional pattern, which is good for lavalier mics because it means that you can talk anywhere into it and it just picks it up. So I'm going to just spin this around as I talk into it, talking to the bottom right now, talking into the top. I'm going to just keep spinning it, and this is the one that's going into my computer, by the way. Okay, so now I'm going to do it with the one on the left, and this is the one that's going into my phone. Uh, I'm going to spin this one around, and as I talk into it, I'm going to talk into the top and the bottom, um, and just let you guys hear what it sounds like. It should also be omnidirectional. All right, so I am now going to compare them all to a. Uh, I'm compared these two to um, the Movo and the PS4 mic. Um, now both the Movo and the PS4 mics uh, have to connect directly into my phone, and because they are, or uh, the Movo can also go into my camera right here. Um, 
but I'm going to connect them to my phone to get the best possible audio quality um, available. And you're still hearing me switch back and forth between these mics. I'm just making sure I get a fair comparison here. So anyway, let me just jump right to that. Okay, so we are now using the PS4 mic, uh, earpiece mic. Um, now, the advantages of this one is that you get an earpiece, obviously. Uh, so if you want to talk to your friends on your PS4 and whatnot, uh, the earpiece is a little too big for my ear canal, but it sits like kind of in here, uh, in the outer part of my ear. But um, this is what it sounds like. Um, and it clips onto your shirt, which is a good idea uh, by um, Sony. But anyway, I am going to shut up now and let you guys listen to the kind of noise this generates without any audio processing. All right, so what comes with this one is literally what you see. The earpiece, the mic is right down here, the clip. And it's a TRRS uh, as well, again. Um, uh, this one is just, it, it comes, if you get a PlayStation, you can even get these separately, I believe. But if you get a PlayStation, it comes with it. Um, the audio quality of the earpiece is not that good. Uh, but I don't know what kind of uh, microphone this is, so. I'm going to just spin this around and let you guys hear it. Make Let's see what the actual, what the polar pattern is. Uh, see if it's omnidirectional. It probably is. Um, but we'll just see what happens. Alright, so that should give you an idea of what that sounds like. Um, you don't even have to clip this to your shirt. You can just let it hang down do whatever with it because you can it puts in you put it into your ear and it holds it there too but um i'm gonna go ahead and switch to the mobile a a xml all right so now we are talking into the movo mxml now the advantage of this one is that you can plug it directly into your phone or your camera depending on what you want to use um now i am going to plug it directly in my camera let you guys hear that uh, the camera has auto gain control as opposed to my phone where I was able to set it all up. Um, now this one does come with a different mic. It's one that clips, uh, that snaps onto it. A uh, little part right here, but I also have an aftermarket clip once again. Um, it also comes with, with a little pop filter. It's about this size. Um, and you put it on top of it. And... Um, so, uh, like I said, the advantage of this one is that it does connect to your phone or your camera, depending on what you want to use. Uh, now, um, it's also a TRRS, meaning that it will not go into your computer without some sort of adapter. And it's actually, but it sounds pretty good, as you guys can hear. It's actually a pretty decent sounding mic. Um, I mean, it's not as good as the Pro JKs, obviously, obviously not. Uh, now, I did not mention this with the PS4 mic, but at some point here, I will be putting some audio processing on it, let you guys listen to that. If you guys wonder what I do for audio processing, um, I use Audacity. I'm going to be putting this into Audacity. I put a treble and bass boost, and then I do some noise removal. Um, I do about 15 like hertz i think is what it call it's called but i put 15 and the rest i keep uh pretty much default and it sounds perfect like that um uh but it, i will put text whenever i do it for the ps4 mic obviously the first two mics i had it at the very beginning um and i will be doing the audio processing for the phone part and the camera part so anyway um, I'm just going to shut up now and let you hear what kind of background noise this generates. Okay, so I'm pretty sure this one's omnidirectional. Um, it's been a while since I, I've owned it for a while, so it could be that I got a cardioid one as well. But it, I'm just going to spin it around, let you guys listen to it as I move it around in my hands. Uh, 
just talking to the top of it and the bottom and all that kind of stuff. Um, so yeah, this is what it sounds like. Okay, so now I am going to switch it out. I'm going to switch it out now. One thing that I uh, have not showed you is this. This is what controls whether you're talking on a phone or a um, camera. You can see right there it says phone and or smartphone and camera. Um, so if I flip that little switch right here, um, it'll switch to the camera. So I'm going to plug it into my camera really quick. Okay, so you, now you're hearing the mic being fed directly into the camera with that. Now, it's, uh, like I said, at some point here, you will be hearing some audio processing, like I said. Um, but yeah, this is uh, what it sounds like. Now, cameras to, or cannons uh, typically have an audio gain control. Uh, so whenever I shut up and stop t talking, you'll notice a hiss really starting to rise. Um, so yeah, let me just shut up right now and I'll let you hear. Okay, so that's the thing. I obviously don't need to test the uh, polar pattern because like I said, um, it's in a, a, yeah, we tested it already on the phone and it does not change whether you do it on the phone or on the camera. Okay, so in conclusion, I think that the Pro JK that goes to that's able to go directly into my computer is the best sounding of them all. But the Pro JK that goes into the um, phone will work if you're like traveling or something and you want to vlog and you want a little bit better audio quality and all that kind of stuff. I think it'll work out just fine for you personally. That's what I believe. It's 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 not the best sound. It's uh. Well, it's pretty good sounding, uh, but it's not like as high quality. Uh, it's got a little bit of a buzz to it, but it sounds okay. Um, just make sure you turn your audio quality settings on your phone with, t with the uh, app that you are using up to the best quality you can get, and you'll be just fine. But personally, I believe that that will be the best. Um, so anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get to the end of this video right now. If you're wondering why the audio is different, I'm using a shotgun mic. So anyway, I, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna cut to the end of the video because I real I was actually editing and I realized I did not have a conclusion. Uh, you guys can make your own conclusions as well, and uh, links to all of the products will be down in the description below for Amazon. Um, if you want to find them somewhere else, you have to do that on your own because I got all of these from Amazon. So except for the PS4, which um, I will put a PS4 mic down in the description for Amazon and probably one for GameStop because um, I think they sell my GameStop. But anyway, that should be the end of this video. Um, I think that's everything. Uh, but yeah, so I'm gonna I'm gonna end that episode here. So I want to thank you everybody so much for watching. As usual, if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. If you want to see more, make sure to subscribe. Check it out some content I create and clean annotations that we'll have in the end of this video. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye bye.